Hello, clean freaks and germaphobes. Today I'm gonna to talk about how to get pee out of a pillow. And if you look at this pillow, I actually wanna wear gloves because it's pretty disgusting. And as a clean freak, I'm like, I am freaking out because I don't know what the original color of this pillow was. I'm gonna guess it was an off-white, but you know, I mean, look at this side, it's even worse. But it's it's got pee stains, it's got sweat stains, it's got dirt. Who knows what else is in this pillow? So I know if you guys are here, you have a story and so I want to hear about it. Drop it in the comments. Did your rabbit pee on it? Did your kid pee on it? Did you pee on it? No shame, but I want to hear your story. So I know that a lot of people are very attached to their pillows. In fact, we were going to film this video with Diana's husband's pillow and she got it all ready to clean and he got wind of it and freaked out because he likes the pillow how it is. He doesn't want anyone to touch it. So I know how people can be super picky about their pillows. I understand that. And that you might be a little bit nervous if this will hurt your pillow. So stay with me and we'll get this pillow clean. But before I get into those details, if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to our channel, Clean Freak and Germaphobe. We share a lot of cleaning hacks and tips to help you live a more clean and germ-free life. And guys, if you have any questions along the way, make sure to leave those because we always try to answer all of our questions. The best part about this method is it doesn't require a washing machine or dryer. So if you have a washing machine and dryer and wanna use that method, I'll put a link below to that video. Okay, here's the things you need to get started. I have a classic kitchen bag underneath my pillow because I don't want to get anything on my table and ruin the wood, but a good working surface, a measuring cup, at least one cup. I have a tablespoon, a spray bottle, and then these are things you probably already have around the house, which is why I love this method. Baking soda, I put mine in this because I buy it in bulk. Here's what it looks like. Three percent hydrogen peroxide and some liquid dishwashing detergent. I really love Dawn. Okay, so here's the recipe. As I talked about, this does not require a washing machine, but you can use a laundromat if you wanna do that. But if you're scared about your pillow getting ruined and don't wanna put it through the wash or the directions say not to, then this is a great method for you. So make sure to look at the tag. Now this tag, it's a Serta pillow, but there is nothing left. So if it had any washing instructions, they're long gone. Also, I'm gonna warn you that this method will bleach out your fabric. Every fabric's different, but this is going to definitely bleach out. So if you wanna treat just part of your pillow, just realize that it's probably going to get lighter and more bleached in that spot. I'm gonna use two cups of hydrogen peroxide. About a tablespoon and a half of baking soda and then a few drops of Dawn. I like to mix it in the measuring cup first. And then pour it into the spray bottle. So I can use this to mix it up. Sometimes the baking soda gets stuck and clogs up the spray bottle. This is my spray bottle. It has one of these stoppers. It's like a strainer at the end, so we don't need that. So pull that part off. And then we're gonna just pour this in. We did the how to get pee out of a mattress video over three years ago. And I'm gonna tell you that I wish I would have stirred it up first because it got so clogged. Okay, so now I'm just gonna basically cover the pillow with this mixture. Okay, you just wanna saturate the whole entire pillow on both sides, make sure to get all the sides in the seams. But you don't wanna dump it on too much or put on too thick because it can get so wet that it's gonna get mold. Just make sure that you evenly coat all of it. Oh, and it's starting to stink, it's kinda gross. It didn't smell before, but now the smell is coming out. But do not worry, this mixture will take out the smell too. So what you need to do next is let it dry. And I know you're gonna ask me how long it's gonna take. It's gonna take a couple of hours, depending on what you use. So if you wanna speed this up, especially if it's a small spot, you can use a hair dryer. You can put it in front of a fan, put it outside in the sun, anywhere you can get good circulation. Now there's nothing about this that says you can't put it in the dryer. If you do have one, put it on like the fluff or low heat cycle, and maybe put a tennis ball or some wool balls in there, and then it can dry faster. The pillow. I actually treated it a couple times and then I added baking soda on top because it was so bad. Let's just take it over here and what we're gonna do next is beating the pillow. <laughs> so if you have any frustrations, this is a good way to get them out. And 
and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay guys, here's the pillow. Now it is no doubt a hard pillow to clean. I mean, it, it was a challenge and it's probably honestly not worth saving. I mean, it's, it's coming apart at the ends and it's pretty bad, but I wanted to show you, you know, kind of give you a preview how well it did. I mean, like I said, I, I don't know if I could get this perfect, but I think it's pretty close. Now I could do another treatment right here because look, the good news is it doesn't stink anymore. And there's the other side. But it only took like two hours to dry out in the sun and it's a really hot day. It still has some of the stains in it. But overall, I think for what we're doing, it's pretty darn good. So guys, I wish this was even more perfect than it is. It is not lumpy. In fact, it's, it's actually fluffed nicely. Okay guys, I wasn't planning on this, but I have to say it. This pillow that I just cleaned is too far gone. I wouldn't keep it. I think it's time for a new pillow. So I wanted to give a quick plug for one of my favorite pillows and that is Coop. So the reasons I like it is it has a really nice cover and it zips off. So you can throw the cover into the wash. It's not waterproof, but it'll, it'll help you. And then it has the inner chamber. And the reason this is amazing is because it's adjustable. See the fluff inside? It's kind of like got this matrix of stuff that holds it all together. It helps so it doesn't get clumpy. But the other thing is you can, you can adjust this pillow to whatever height you want. And so if you like a flatter pillow, you can take some out. If you need more fill, you can just add it in. And then it comes with one and a half pounds of extra fill. So this is included with your pillow. I don't know any other pillows that does that. So basically you can take out any, any foam that's worn out and replace it with this. They also sent me this. We really love their other product, like their mattress protector, their incontinence pad. We did a video that like, held something like 16 cups of liquid and did not leak. So it's reusable, it's awesome. So anyway, this is their pillow protector and I really was impressed because it's really a nice thick cover, you know, and it's got this waterproofing on the inside, noiseless, can't hear it. I'm just gonna give you a comparison really quick on my own bed. So this pillow protector is totally different. Like this is a lot cheaper. I'll put a link to both of these in the video description, but you can see, can you hear that? It's a little different. You can get so much more use out of your pillows if you use a pillow protector. If it gets stained or if the fabric starts coming apart, you can just get a new pillow protector. You don't have to get a whole new pillow. I used to be the kind of person that would buy like a $35 pillow at like Walmart or somewhere like that. And I was never happy. And then I started spending more money and I still wasn't happy. And then in the last few years, I found pillows that I totally love and I've had them for longer than a year. I think I've had this one for about a year and a half. This is a Brooklyn bedding shredded memory foam. It is one of my favorites, but it's heavy. Like it weighs a lot. This is a king size. This one is, you know, a lot lighter weight. So anyway, I am a pillow nerd and I just wanted to give you a quick overview of some of my favorite pillows. Now it's your turn. If you have any questions or if you've tried this and it worked for you, please leave a comment. We love hearing from you. And if you know someone with a nasty pee pillow, make sure to share this video with them. <laughs> There's my cat. We're trying to teach it not to get on the table, but anyway. Hitty, get down. Get down, get down, get down.